out of that there are just as many people if not more who believed in this team from the very beginning and it's pretty clear right now who was right now the opening lineup for the Portland Trailblazers DeAndre Ayton is out there with Jeremy Grant then it's Malcolm Brogdon then there's Anthony Simons and it's Kamari in at the three slot and for the Warriors they've got Jonathan Kaminga he's out there with Kevon Looney Clay Thompson is out there with Stephen Curry and it's Pajemski in at the two spot. Go. Opening day of the regular season, Grant. Nothing quite like this first one of the year. You know, as a former player, you know firsthand that there's so much anticipation and hard work that goes into making it to opening day. So everyone right now is on a level playing field, and the dream is still alive. Here's Pajemski. Oh, a rim-rattling two-handed jam! While he's a bit undersized for a four, he more than makes up for it with his bounce. Brogdon, the pass to Graham. Simons outside, fires the three. The Warriors pull it in. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. Pass to Pajemski. Thompson outside. Curry with it. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. With all the attention Clay gets, it can lead to open looks for others. Nice decision. Simons outside, and here's Aiden. Over Looney, and that one hits the back iron. A cold start for them. Three shots, three misses. Good thing it's early. Outside Kaminga. Pass to Curry from downtown. Perfect night so far. Two for two. Executing the plan here early. Still haven't missed a shot. Simons outside. Hayden with a screen. To stop the run. Kaminga pulls it in. Oh, for four to start things off. Got a bit of a pillow fight brewing here. But they're going to get it going. Curry against Brogdon. Now here's Curry. Defense right on him. Shot clock at six. And here's Thompson for three. Oh, can't get it. Misses his first attempt. Portland has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Oh, they get a hand on it. Oh, and a fast break for the Warriors. Here's Curry. Portland grabs the miss. Outside Brogdon. They set the screen. Pass to Graham. And that one drops for him. Brushing off the physical defense, Grant enjoys overcoming these kinds of obstacles and still scoring. You know, one thing about Malcolm Brogdon, he's confident and he inspires confidence in others. Yeah, former Rookie of the Year as a point guard of a veteran team. He definitely has a take-charge persona. He makes big shots. He doesn't make many mistakes. His coaches and teammates trust him at a high level. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. The Trailblazers have gone 1-5 of five to start things off. Brogdon finds Graham. Back to Brogdon. Curry with the block. Making his present felt on defense. Curry with the rejection. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. That'll put some fear into the shooters. And he made sure to do it early, too. And here's Grant from the arc. And they've done a pretty good job working the ball inside, but haven't been able to convert at all. Thompson with it. Picked up by Grant. Thompson passes to Curry. Back to Thompson. Pass to Pajemski. Just five to shoot. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. And throughout this run, the Warriors' defense has been an underrated part of their success, Richard. And that's what they've got to get back to, especially on the road. Defending at a high level is critical if you're going to get back to the mountaintop. 
shooting two. That free throw misses. He does not get the second one. And Grant, this season, the Blazers adding a G League affiliate in North Portland. The NBA, I mean, the second to last team to do it. And the Suns next season will make it 30 for 30. Now there's a G League counterpart operating under each of the league's teams. And Aiden gets it to go. Yeah, this is where Aiden's comfortable operating, using his height and array of inside moves to his advantage. Down low. Out to Thompson. Pass to Kaminga. Thompson, a screen on Grant. And here's Kaminga for three. Nails it from three. Kaminga's got five. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Now Brogdon. Yet to see a basket. Aiden with a screen. It's stolen by Looney. Here's Pajemski, guarded by Brogdon. To the inside. Pass to Kamari. Now Graham takes a three. He drops it from range. Grant's got his second bucket of the night. No hesitation from Grant. He's not bashful shooting off the catch when given the chance. Curry passes to Looney. Grant against Kaminga. Shoots over Grant. Misses off the right iron. And the defense was all over him once he got in close. Didn't want him to get too comfortable. And it's Simons missing. Golden State has gone two for three from outside the arc. Thompson scanning the floor. Pass to Looney. Back to Thompson. Jacks up a three. And he's in the books. Now one for two. You see, it's Clay's accuracy that makes him so hard to stop. He's a constant threat from range. Brogdon, the pass to Graham. Simons outside. Counted from distance. This is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Pass to Looney. Outside Kaminga. On the wing, Thompson. Rebounded by Kamari. Defense kind of rolled the dice there, and I'm a little surprised that it ended up going their way with the miss. Here's Brogdon. Here's an eight-footer. Again, the Trailblazers. Good for two. Brogdon with the smooth finish inside. His game is so polished. Curry against Brogdon. Pass to Pajemski. Back to Curry. Six on the shot clock. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Malcolm Brogdon. That's his first foul. Here's Kaminga. His last outing, we saw him score 22. Pass to Curry. Down to five on the shot clock. Looney, a screen on Simons. Here's Curry. And there's another one for the Warriors. Here's Brogdon. Here's Kamari. And here's Simons outside. And again, it's Portland with a three. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. To the middle. Here's Looney. 
Misses the baby hook. Well, some trips you get the shot you want, it just doesn't fall. I'd go back to him in that area on the floor. Brogdon with the ball. Grant outside. Three-pointer. Kaminga pulls it in. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Curry finds Thompson. Here's Pajemski. He's covered by Simons. And there's the foul. It's on Amphrey Simons. That's his first foul. Chris Paul, he's checked in for Curry. And the Trailblazers making a change here as well. Henderson, he's checked in for Simons. Who poked away. Here's Brogdon. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Phenomenal focus. Brogdon takes pleasure in fighting off that contact. Well, looking back, it wasn't too long ago, Grant. The Blazers had an eight-year playoff streak. NBA, that's no easy task. Some great years, but couldn't get over the hump. Now I think it's time to reset and build around their youth. And now they lead as the free throw drops in for them. When it comes to Golden State over the last 10 to 15 years, what stands out to you the most, RJ? Just the fact that you can never count out the Warriors. Every time they've gone through adversity, they seem to come out of it even stronger. Now here's Thompson. They set the pick. Puts it up. Nice. Gets his second bucket. He's two for four now. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Here's Brogdon. He's got five. Henderson outside. Here's Aiton. Looney grabs a miss. Looney's got four rebounds in the game. Pass to Thompson. Paul against Henderson. Paul passes to Thompson. Six to shoot. Now here's Looney. Paul for three. Walker pulls down the board. Henderson left side. Back to Walker. Tries it from 16. Jackson Davis grabs a miss. The Warriors leading. Inside. Here's Looney. Oh, rejected by Aiton. So difficult to shoot over. Aiton proving it with that rejection. Brogdon, the pass to Henderson. And good. Coming on the assist by Brogdon. And the Trailblazers lead by one. And so Thompson will bring it up for Golden State. Shoots over Thibel. The kick out to Paul. Looney, the screen. Clock at six. Paul passes to Looney. Back to Paul. Over Aiden. That one goes. Now he's one for two. The defense cannot give Paul any airspace, even as the pass is coming his way. Henderson against Paul. Shots good by Henderson. Henderson's got his second bucket on the night. And the lead just keeps changing hands. Five times already, and we still haven't gotten out of the first half. Golden State calls timeout. Well, Coach Kerr calls him the moral compass of the Warriors team. Kevon Looney has been a cornerstone, RJ. He knows his role. It's defense, rebounding, and setting screens, and he does his role at an elite level. He's a connector in the locker room, and everyone knows that Loon is that guy.
And the Warriors make some changes. Sharich comes in for Looney. And it's Stephen Curry in for Thompson. Paul against Henderson. Tries to spin move. The baseline J is on the way. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Their last encounter was in Portland. Yeah, they made a lot of plays, and they were in it until the end. Just couldn't do enough to get the win. And that is why coaches preach about the details. The margins in this league are razor thin. Now here's Henderson. And in most other draft classes, Scoot Henderson could have been a top pick. Yeah, he has the talent and skill you want in a number one overall pick. Circumstance of the class dropped him down, but he has everything you look for in a franchise centerpiece. Good from Henderson. And with a single punch in last season's training camp, it seems the Warriors' culture of joy and togetherness really took a hit, Grant. You know, I agree, B.A., and that's what they need to recover from. You know, keeping that connection and commitment to a common purpose is so crucial to winning. Off on that one, so he goes one out of two at the line. You have to love how Scoot Henderson plays beyond his size. I mean, using the quickness and agility to get the better of bigger players. I mean, that's impressive for a young guy to be doing. And Portland has possession. And here's Simons. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Obviously, this guy has a talent for scoring. Able to problem solve for whatever the defense tosses at him. Falls for Simons. 17 seconds left to play in the first. Curry looking it over. Off target with the three. Pass to Simons. This one for three. Drains the triple. Simons has got 12 points. Yeah, great find right there by Henderson. He is such a gifted facilitator. Anthony Simons has been leading the charge for the Trailblazers. He made a big impact, scoring 12 points in the quarter. We'll be back in a moment. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for Portland. Well, so far, their long-range shooting has been the story, doing damage from deep. And what's more, they're getting their feet wet down there in the paint early on, not shying away at all, taking it inside. What a great way to start. Here's Curry. He picked up 30 points in their last win against Washington. Here are the five. Portland has to start the second. Henderson and Simons are in the backcourt. Matisse Thibel out there with Walker. Curry passes to Moody. Outside Paul. Shot clock at five. And there's the foul. It'll go on Matisse Thibel. That's his first foul. against Henderson. Pass to Sharich. There's the triple. First shot won't go. And sometimes on defense, yeah, you could just get lucky. Simons, a screen on Curry. 
Henderson against Curry. The Warriors pull it in. And following this one, they'll take on the Nuggets in Denver. And that'll be their only game on the road before heading back home. And here's the fast break. Here's Thibault. He's got a piece of it. Walker finds Henderson. The kick out to Walker. Second chance shot. Warriors with the rebound. Curry's got four rebounds now. Pass to Jackson Davis. Curry with it. Now guarded by Simons. It's stolen by Henderson. And here's Walker. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And we've heard players asking for more clarity and accountability from the officials. Grant, you think they have a point? Well, players often ask refs to explain calls. So they also want some clarity from the league whether the refs got it right. And that information oftentimes can help them make the proper adjustments moving forward. That free throw, no good. Timeout called, Portland. Yeah, coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. I'm sure all of the above is in order and you can never be too content. All right, let's go to the leaderboard and see the top passing teams last season. The Warriors, number one. It was a joy to watch these guys play. Constant ball movement and player movement. Defenses were worn out by the end of games. And he sinks the second. And here are the Warriors now. They've only given up one point in the second quarter. That one coming at the line. Paul against Henderson. Paul can't get it to go. Portland leading. Pass to Henderson. Outside Tybal. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Free throw, no good. Golden State has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Here's Jackson Davis. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. Such confidence as a passer. He hits guys in stride. It makes it look easy. Simons, a screen on Paul. Henderson for three. It's rebounded by Golden State. Pass to Curry. And here in the second quarter of action, just a hair under two and a half minutes play. Out left to the wing. Six on the shot clock. Oh, here's Moody with the drive. Here's a three from Paul. He buries it from three. Now just a four-point trailblazer lead. And when Paul gets to his spots, it doesn't matter if the defense is there. He's got a deadly jumper. Henderson for three. Jackson Davis grabs a miss. Golden State has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Quarter number two in around three minutes gone by. Simons against Curry. And they pick up two. Curry's got 13. So challenging to guard in pick and rolls. Curry excels at exploiting the defense in these sets. Simons outside. The ball's knocked loose. It's stolen by Curry. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. 
And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Warriors. From the tip, they are not making things easy on them. Lots of steals playing disruptive basketball. <laughs> and also the coaching staff the has to love the, the hustle so far. One Just shot. playing with great energy, getting out and converting in transition. And the free throw is good, now leading by one. Portland calls timeout. Sharic checks in for the Warriors. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Henderson against Paul. There's Simons with a three. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. And the Warriors with possession. It's been ten straight unanswered. Pass to Curry. Back to Kaminga. Takes the three. Rebounded by Kamari. Portland trailing here. Looking at the young forward, Jonathan Kaminga, a big man who continues to try to get better. Yeah, I really like this guy. Ultimately, he's got to hit his 10,000 hours. He's got to play more games and get more minutes, but he definitely possesses a hunger to improve, and every team loves those types of values. And he drops a first. And the Warriors making a switch here. Looney's checked in. And also a switch here for Portland. Aiden's checked in. Henderson hits them both. Now here's Curry. 13 points in the game. Curry drives. Pass to Pajemski. Back to Curry. From deep three-point range. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Grant outside. Here's Kamari. Henderson with it. He's guarded by Paul. Just five on the clock. There's Simons with a three, and the rebound goes to the Warriors. Looney's got six rebounds now in the game. In the first quarter, he was raining down threes. That's not the case here in the second. Outside Curry. Let's it go from deep. Yes! And it's Paul with the assist that time. Curry's got five points now in the quarter. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. Out to the wing. Henderson against Paul. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jonathan Kaminga. That's his first foul of the game. Yeah, you see the vision from Henderson. Just a terrific facilitator. for the Warriors. Trailing by two and keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Clay Thompson is able to go on scoring stretches like few players in NBA history. He said, quote, once you see it go straight through the net, that's when you're in the zone. At the beginning of the game, you hold your follow through. Once you feel like you can't miss, you shoot real quick and that's a great feeling. You feel on top of the world. B.A.? Yes, indeed. Thanks, Allie. And he makes a first.
Hits both from the stripe. Here's Henderson. He has seven. Grant outside. Aiden in the high post. It's stolen by Looney. Pass to Pajemski. Crafty move. Got a hand on it. Yeah, the defensive instincts of Grant kicking in, especially when he sees the chance to block shots. To the paint. And Aiton with the stuff. He's a nimble guy for someone with that size. Aiton can get off of his feet quick for a lob. Golden State is gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Here's Curry. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Curry's got seven points here in the quarter. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. When it ain't broke, leave it alone until someone stops him. Just let him roll. Now here's Simons. He's got 13. Shot clock at six. The Warriors pull it in. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not careful there. And now a look at last season's most proficient free throw shooters. Stephen Curry, third. Very steady at the line. He's the guy who isn't rattled easily. And that shows in his free throw shooting numbers. Clay Thompson, he's checked in for Stephen Curry. Malcolm Brogdon's checked in for Portland. Henderson scanning the floor. Pass to Aiden. Over Looney. And there's Aiden on the assist by Henderson. Henderson's got his fifth assist in this one. So impressed with that bucket by Aiden. Fantastic body control from the big man. Now here's Kaminga. He's got seven. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And they just keep making mistakes. I mean, that's back-to-back -back turnovers, which easily could have been prevented. And the Warriors making a switch here. Moody's checked in. Ball against Henderson. Aiton inside. Six points for him. And he gets the bucket. That's three buckets in a row off assist. The Warriors have gone 6 of 11 here in the second quarter. Ball against Henderson. Pass to Kaminga. Looney inside. Shoots over Aiton. Rebounded by Brogdon. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Inside. Now here's Aiden. Rebounded by Chris Paul. Pass to Kaminga. Shoots over Grant. Kaminga's shot is off. Portland has gone just one of five so far this quarter from three. Grant finds Henderson. Back to Grant. And here's Aiden. Five on the clock. And that one goes. He's shooting five of nine in this one. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Pass to Kaminga. That shot is off. Hey, great D that time from Grant. Here's Henderson. Back to Grant. Lays it up and banks it in. Grant's got five points now in the quarter. All five guys are in sync. Their ball movement is flawless. Kaminga with a screen on Henderson. Paul taking his time here. Pass to Looney. Here's Moody. They still need this. Oh, Moody deadly from there. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Now Grant. Henderson outside. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. The Warriors trailing. Pass to Looney. 
Outside Kaminga. Now Paul. The three ball. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Ayton's got six rebounds in the game. Now Brogdon. He's got five. And here's Grant from the arc. Looney grabs a miss. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Paul finds Thompson. Here's Moody, guarded by Brogdon. Here's Kuminga. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got rebound number seven tonight. Yeah, just hasn't been able to find his rhythm offensively. And that's having a ripple effect. Henderson against Paul. Pass to Graham. Excellent D there from Kuminga. Golden State has gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. Paul passes to Looney. Outside Kuminga. Up top Thompson. It's good from the top of the key. Thompson's got his third basket on the night right there. I just love how fast Thompson gets his shot up. It makes him so much more lethal. Brogdon, the pass to Graham. Again, the miss by Graham. And here's Thompson. He'll bring it up for Golden State. Take it away! 35 seconds left in the second period. Outside for Brogdon. Shoots a fadeaway. No good that time. The Warriors shooting at 44% in the second. A decent rate. It's stolen by Henderson to stop the drought. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Kevon Looney picks one up. Yeah, despite standing about six foot two, Henderson has a big time vertical, and he plays a lot bigger than his height. And he can't get the first one. He's good on the second. 16 seconds left in the second period. Curry against Brogdon. Here's Curry. Let's the three fly. Got it up. Looney buried from outside. I don't know. I think we may get a review here. That was close. And hold up. We're the previous play is under they are going to take a look at this replay. And there's really plenty of time remaining in this game. So you want to make sure the right call was made. The ruling on the floor is confirmed. And the ruling is in. The call stands. No bucket. So no change in the score as we end the quarter. Good move to review that shot. That was really close to counting. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. Trailblazers out in front. Up by four. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. Thanks for tuning in. Did you miss us? Before we discuss the game at hand, let's first check out the upcoming schedule. Taking a look at uh, Portland. At this point, you got to take every team you're up against as a test. Asking yourself, what can we do better than last year? Happens for us, too. Kenny, you cook up any new approaches in the offseason? Well, I'm going to reveal those, you know, over time. Not just all in one sitting. But you're right. There is an opportunity to stretch and experiment. See what's working and what isn't. 
Moving on to the first half of our game, DeAndre Ayton certainly impressed out there. He's lighting this arena up. I mean, the numbers don't lie. Defense out there searching for ways to stop him, and they can't find no answers. Nope. Yep, they keep looking for those answers, Shaq, and I'm not sure they'll find them, though. Even when you bring two guys to him, he usually has an answer of his own. And that'll do it for us. Thanks for stopping by. We'll head back down to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the third quarter. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Stephen Curry having a dominant impact in this game. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. If they don't change their approach in the second half, eh, let's just say his success will continue. Here's Curry. Kaminga is out there with Kevon Looney. Then it's Clay Thompson. Then there's Stephen Curry. And it's Pajemski in a two guard. That's the Warriors five. Portland leading. You know, when you look back on Stephen Curry's career, it's still amazing that he fell to the seventh pick of the draft. You think a few teams regret that one, B.A.? <laughs> look, as great as a shooter as he is, teams were scared off by his build because he didn't have that typical NBA strong body. And Aiden gets it to go. Well, the Warriors shooting pretty well at 45%. Pass to Pajemski. Rejected by Aiton. And he's able to get it back. And here's Kaminga for three. And again, it's the Warriors missing. The defense just giving him the easy look there. He's not going to miss that. Now here's Aiton. He's defended by Looney. Aiton inside. Looney's there. And Aiton gets it to go. Aiton's got four points in the quarter. Assertive basketball. Aiton getting out it on the offensive glass using his size to his advantage pass to Kaminga over Grant yep it finally drops after rolling around the rim Kaminga's got nine and it took some time but hopefully getting that make will kind of kickstart and kind of wake him up here in this third quarter after missing their first few shots timeout called Portland And it's time to give you a look at the top three-point shooting teams from a year ago. The Warriors, second. Their long-range game was a huge strength. They spread the floor, found the open shots, and made the most of their chances. Just over one and a half minutes have passed in the third quarter. Brogdon against Thompson. And a quick look, no good that time. Halftime didn't do them any favors offensively. They've missed four of their last five shots. There's Simons with a three. Count it. Now five of 11 for the game. A nice start to the second half. They've made three out of their first four shots coming out of the break. To the middle. Here's Curry. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Looking unstoppable. Even the foul can't hold back Curry's shot.
the Trailblazers have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. Hayden with a screen. There's Simons with a three. The putback. It's good on the putback. And the Trailblazers lead by eight. Uh, he's been locked all the way in from the floor, and he's the number one reason why they're winning right now. Curry against Simons. Back to Curry. Curry draws the double. There's Pajemski. The three-pointer off the mark. The Trailblazers have gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. Outside Brogdon. Aiden passes to Brogdon. Now here's Simons. Aiden with a screen. Five to shoot. Simons, that one's good. Time out, time out. Simons has got 19 points. And when it comes to the three, they've been really dialed in here in the second half. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. Curry's got the ball here for the Golden State Warriors. 11-point game. To the inside. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. The Trailblazers have gotten five of seven attempts in the third quarter. Pass to Kamari. Back to Brogdon. There's the three. And there's Simons. That one's good. On the assist by Brogdon. 22 points for him. He hit three triples in the first half. Three more since. <laughs> That's nothing to shrug at. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Warriors head coach Steve Kerr has somewhat of a hands-off approach. He said, quote, coaching isn't controlling. My goal by the end of the year is to just sit there and do nothing. And that means it works because that's what a coach's job is. It's not to pull strings, call every play and direct traffic. It's to say, this is your team. B.A.? Yeah, that's how you have to think about it, right? Thanks, Allie. Just two to shoot. Curry with the block. Here's Pajemski. It's blocked. And it's out of bounds. The Warriors able to retain possession here. And you've got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages them to keep attacking on the offensive end. Brockton against Curry. Here's Pajemski. Sinks the tray. Pajemski's got himself on the board with a three there. That's a fantastic decision by Curry. Defense too focused in on Steph. Simons with it. He's got 22. Second chance effort. Curry with the block. On the wing, Thompson. He's covered by Gray. Thompson's shot is off. Uh, I, I'm trying to think of the last time I saw him miss a shot like that. It's, it's been a while. Over to the left wing. Down low. Outside Brogdon. From deep, Brogdon! Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Golden State has gone one of four here in the third from range. Curry against Brogdon. Curry passes to Thompson. Kaminga with it. Outside Curry. Six to shoot. And here's Thompson for three. And Aiden pulls it down. 
Hayden's got a rebound number 12 here already in the game. Simons outside. Again, the Trailblazers, good for two. This man is on fire. His team is winning, and it doesn't get better than that. Here's Pajemski. He's covered by Simons. Pass to Curry. Looney, a screen on Brogdon. And here's Curry for three. And Looney with the slam. Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. Timeout time call, time Portland. And until recently, it seemed like a Sorry. foregone conclusion that the NBA's age limit would come back down to 18. Are you surprised that didn't happen, Grant? You know, B.A., I am surprised. We heard players saying it's not fair to make guys wait. You know, Commissioner Silver seemed receptive, so that was slightly unexpected that age 19 remains the rule. Scoot Henderson's checked in for Simons. So it's Portland now. Henderson finds Aiden. Back to Henderson. Here's Kamari. The three is up. It's rebounded by Golden State. Kaminga's got a rebound number five here tonight. Curry against Henderson. Curry, no good. See, what a rough quarter for him. Nothing seemingly going his way. Pass to Aiden. Using his post moves to get the two points. Aiden's got 18. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Yeah, they're going to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. Now here's Curry. He's got 21. Oh, and Clay makes that three look so easy. After sinking one triple in the first quarter, he nails another one in the second quarter. He's got it going on. Out to the right wing. Here's Aiton. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And Richard, if you look at seven-footer DeAndre Ayton, he has all the tools to be a dominant big man. Yeah, you run down the list. He's mobile, bouncy, soft hands, great touch. Has everything you need to be great. He's just got to put it all together. And the first one at the line is good. And I love the footwork Aiton possesses. It's what makes him so dangerous close to the rim. Aiden hits them both. Golden State has gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. Pass to Curry. To the inside. Here's Looney. Oh, look at Looney at the rim. Flying in with the one-hand slam. That right there was a statement finish. To the left side wing. Aiden's got space. Portland again missing. The Warriors shooting around 41% in the third quarter. Pass to Looney. Curry against Aiden. Back to Kaminga. Launches a three. And the Warriors with another three. You can't lose a shooter like him on the court. The ball will find its way to him, and he will drill a three each time. There's a screen. Brogdon feeling it out a bit. Now Graham. He's watched by Kaminga. Just five to shoot. Knocked loose. Here's Pajemski. Guarded by Brogdon. The shot by Pajemski. No good. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you've got to shoot your way out of the slump, even for him. Now here's Henderson. Give him eight. And there is the whistle. That'll go on Kavan Looney. That's his third foul of the game. Sharich checks in for the Warriors.
Pass to Kamari. Henderson with a screen on Thompson. Now Brogdon. Just four to shoot. No good with the triple. And here's Sharich. Still without a bucket. Inside. Playing, busting it up inside. That is the definition of a gamer. Clay right in the face of good defense. Pass to Brogdon. Back to Henderson. Grant outside. To stop the drought. It's rebounded by Golden State. Sharich has got his fifth rebound in this one. Thompson with it. Sharich finds Curry. They double-team Curry. Here's Pajemski. From outside, off the mark. Just an ugly show from him offensively. Yep, no way to describe it. Just ugly, and that hasn't helped. It's rebounded by Golden State. One fifty-seven left in the third quarter. On the wing, Thompson. No good. He's shooting five for twelve so far. And it's Henderson with the ball for the Trailblazers. Leading by five. Buries it from three. Yeah, something Henderson is still working on. Getting his three-point shot to be a little more consistent. On the wing, Curry. Defended by Henderson. Launches it from deep. It's rebounded by Grant. And he got a couple to fall from long distance in the first half, but still looking for that number three. Brogdon, the pass to Henderson. Brogdon with a screen on Curry. Henderson for three. It's hauled in by Sharich. Sharich has got his seventh rebound here tonight. And imagine how good they'll look if he can start to chip in a bit more offensively. The shot by Pajemski, no good. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. Yeah, straight up, guys. Like, he's ice cold, like freezing. What's colder than cold? But you don't have to shoot it, my guy. It's okay to pass the ball. So both teams making some changes here. There's 53 seconds left in the third. Walker, a screen on Thompson. Dybul against Thompson. Dybul passes to Henderson. Three on the clock. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Warriors. And the Warriors making a switch here. Curry's checked in. And the Trailblazers making a change here as well. Anthony Simons, he's checked in for Malcolm Brogdon. There's 39 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Pass to Sharich. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. That's a very avoidable turnover. you got to focus on the details. Henderson with a screen on Curry. There's Simons with a three. Hauled in by Paul. That is not a guy you want to allow open looks for range. Lucky for the defense, he just couldn't get it to go. They get the rebound. One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Curry buries the triple. What focus from Curry on offense so far, doing everything he can to provide a lift for his squad. Simons passes to Thibel. Walker for three. Anthony Simons has been leading the charge for the Portland Trailblazers. 11 points in the quarter. He's on fire. We'll be right back with you shortly. Steve Kerr with some words for his players. Keep everything sharp. Keep the cuts hard. Cutting through contact. Passes sharp. 
and the ball's going to fall for us. We can't give up the easy ones down here, right? Now, Coach Kerr, all he's asking is that his team be more precise in their decision-making. Yeah, absolutely. He's aware of just how special they are when they're playing smart basketball. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. On the court right now for the Trailblazers. Simons and Thibel are the two wings. Then there's Walker. Then there's Scoot Henderson. Paul against Henderson. It's tipped. Yeah, boy, Henderson has a flair for the dramatic. What a block. Walker against Sharich. Walker, a screen on Curry. Here's Simons. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's on Stephen Curry. Yeah, and you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for Portland? They've been just suffocating on defense the whole game. Look at their shot blocking. The opposition doesn't have any room to breathe. And you got to respect their energy level. A lot of steals, staying active, and making things happen. And that one falls for Simons. So Simons nails both of them. He's making the most of every trip to the line, providing for his team. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. And as we head down the stretch, these players are focused on absorbing their coach's game plan and also drinking some Gatorade so their bodies will be well hydrated for the minutes ahead. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. During that break, Coach Steve Kerr had some advice for the team. And a big reason their team is down, the three-point line. Coach saying in the huddle, we have to battle on the perimeter. They're outplaying us from the arc. Guys? All right, appreciate it, Allie. Here's Moody. Back to Curry. 4-3. Sinks it from distance. Curry's got nine points now in the second half. And now with two three-pointers in each half, he's really doing his all to help his team out from deep. Back to Thibel. Henderson finds Simons. Henderson outside. The three is up. It's hauled in by Sharich. Sharich has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Pass to Curry. Curry draws the double. Left side pull. The three. That one is off. Portland leading. It's picked off. Moody passes to Curry. Here's Jackson Davis. Misses the three. And the Trailblazers shooting about 43% on this one. Here's Walker. And he can't bank that one in. Golden State has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Outside Paul. To the left wing. From deep. He can't get that one to fall. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Looney's checked in for Sharich. And also a switch here for Portland. Aiden's checked in. Aiden, a screen on Paul. And there's the lob. It's stolen by Curry. Pass to Jackson Davis. Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. Six on the shot clock. Now Looney. Looney! Through contact! 
Okay, when you let someone with this height get this close, it's going to be nearly impossible to stop, especially when he has that big of an advantage in this category. Aiden. To win the drought. That one a little long. The Warriors have gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. Oh, he muscles it in through the contact. They call the foul, and he's on his way to the line. You know, that was an excellent play right there, using his strength to power through contact. And that one misses. The Trailblazers have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Man, yeah, good whistle there. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. He hits the second from the line. Hey, when you start locking it down at the line, good things tend to happen. The Warriors have gotten three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. Aiden against Looney. Back to Curry. They double team Curry. Five on the clock. Jackson Davis misses. And it's Simons with the ball for Portland. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. It's on Stephen Curry. Oh, he really fought for that one. Battling through contact to complete the play. Clay Thompson, he's checked in for the Warriors. One shot. But you can't help but notice this half is how lights out they've been from the free throw line. Pass to Looney. And it's blocked by Thibault. And it's out of bounds. The Warriors able to retain possession here. Aiden against Looney. Clock at six. Looney, the screen. Thompson. And again, it's the Warriors missing. There has been nothing for him this quarter. Ever since halftime, he's lost all of his touch. Brogdon against Paul. Aiden with a screen. Brogdon, the pass to Simons. Basket is good on the assist from Brogdon. Brogdon's got four assists in the game. He's been dominant all game long. Nobody on the floor can stop him. And look, let's just say he knows it. Now here's Kaminga. Pass to Thompson. Can they get it? So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Richard, a lot of concern about Klay Thompson coming back from two major injuries. But he's answered those questions. Yeah, it took Clay a little bit of time to get right now. He did miss two seasons, but Thompson was key in that 2022 title run. Then he had a 50-point night in 2023. So, yeah, 
I'd say he's back. And he knocks down the first one. After a run of bad luck with injuries, it's great to see Thompson back on the court contributing because this man, he is the definition of a warrior. Both free throws good from Thompson. Portland leading. Outside Brogdon. A deep three. Offensive board. Golden State has gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. Oh, got that one up quick. You can't let Paul get room to shoot from downtown. That's a recipe for disaster. The Trailblazers have gotten three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. Pass to Kamari. Ball against Brogdon. Simons passes to Brogdon. Shot clock at six. To the paint. Oh, and the jam by Aiton. Talk about perfect execution. Aiton on the same page with his man there. Now here's Thompson. Looney the screen. Thompson passes to Looney. And Looney with the slam. That gives him a double-double in this one. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Now here's Brogdon. Grant the pass to Simons. Here's Kamari. Knocks down the long J. Kamari's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Golden State has gone two of six so far in the fourth. Looney, the screen. Thompson with it. Now guarded by Aiden. Here's Looney. Oh, Looney. Cool and calm at the rim. A slow start for him, but making amends here in the second half. Simons outside. To the wing on the left. Pass to Kamari. Trailblazers got to hurry. Got to get up a shot. And again, it's Portland with a three. Keep riding that hot hand. He's been pretty much unstoppable. And here's Thompson. He'll bring it up for Golden State. Here's Pajemski. He's covered by Simons. Out left to the wing. Now here's Thompson. Tight defense on him. Here's the three. Thompson for three. No fear for Clay. This is his second three this half. He's getting even more bold at that arc. Brockton against Paul. Simons outside. And here's Grant from the arc. Thompson pulls it in. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the game come to you. First free throw is good. They're finding a rhythm from the line as they try to cut into this deficit. And the Warriors making a switch here. Curry's checked in. Second free throw, no good. Didn't get to the line in the first half, but since the break, he's been in attack mode. Great adjustment. Brogdon against Curry. Outside Brogdon. 
Pass to Aiden. Up again. Controls the rebound and the putback. And the Trailblazers lead by six. Oh, what athleticism from Aiden to time it for that putback. Here's Looney. Outside Kaminga. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. You know, when you're trailing, you can't afford mistakes. And he's made a few of them tonight. That's a tough walk back to the showers. I'm pretty sure he'd like to have a couple of those plays back. Chris Paul, he's checked in for Stephen Curry. Now Simons, grab the screen. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Warriors have gone 7 of 14 here in the fourth from the floor. Thompson finds Paul. Now here's Thompson. Banked it in off the glass. Thompson's got 20. Uh oh, look, we've seen Thompson fill it up in a hurry before. Scoring comes, let's just say, easy to him. Now here's Simons. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Falls for him. And so Simons nails both of them. He's dialed up his aggression here in the second half, consistent in working himself to the line. Here's Pajemski. He's covered by Simons. From outside the arc. The shot by Pajemski, no good. This is the definition of forcing it. He's trying to get himself going, but taking tough shots just won't do it. First one falls. Both shots good from the strike. The Warriors have gotten 8 of 16 attempted shots to go here in the fourth. Paul against Brogdon. Thompson outside. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Thompson's got 23 points. Sharp find by Paul. One of the best passes of all time. Hayden with a screen. There's Simons with a three. It's rebounded by Golden State. A minute 50 left in the final quarter. Spins. The teardrop. And the ball out of play. The Trailblazers will have it. Timeout called. Portland. They're up by eight. 144 left in the fourth quarter.
144 left in the final quarter. Outside Brogdon. Knocked away. Pass to Kamari. Fires for three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Looney's got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after it. Fires the three. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Brogdon's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here's Kamari. Brogdon, the pass to Aiden. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Aiden's got eight here in this quarter. Well, now it's just a matter of watching the sand fall through the hourglass. This game is wrapped up in a strong showing for the Trailblazers. Free throws were a major factor tonight. It's nice to get a lot of shots at the line, but then you need to convert them. They did that, and it paved their way to a win. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. And boy, did they need to win this game after dropping the first two matchups against this squad. Now they can go into the final game of the season series with a ton of confidence. And while there were some guys out there that played well, what really stood out was the production for DeAndre Ayton. And I love how active he was on the glass. Not afraid to get physical and do whatever he could do to grab boards. Here's Simons following the score by Golden State. Grant outside. Pass to Brogdon. Shot clock at five. Let's go with a three. They get it back. Back to Grant. And here's Brogdon. He's guarded by Paul. To the middle. Outside for Grant. So the Trail Blazers win it. Exceptional effort on the road. They were ready and they were focused. Focused indeed. I mean, it takes a strong mental approach to block out the distractions. These guys stepped up 100%. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Malcolm, there's no question you won this game defensively. What were the aspects that enabled you to contain them so well? All right, Allie, thank you. And that'll wrap it up, folks. This is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching. We'll see you next time.